art by Inked Playmats at InkedPlaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. I'm from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Wolf Run White and Red Green Aggro. Corey started on the play by laying down a Copper Line Gorge and used it to cast a Birds of Paradise. Then Colin laid down a Forest and played a Birds of his own. Corey then played a Strangle Root Geist and attacked, dropping Colin down to 18. Then post-combat, he played another Birds. Colin then laid down a Mountain and played a Viridian Emissary. Corey then laid down a Rootbound Crag and attacked with his Geist, so Colin just blocked it with his Emissary and searched for a Plains when it died. Then Corey played a Huntmaster of the Fells, going up to 22, and got himself a Wolf Token. Colin used a Pillar of Flame on his turn to get rid of the Huntmaster. He then played a Garrick Relentless and made it fight the Strangle Root Geist, killing them both. For Corey's next turn, he attacked with his Wolf, taking Colin down to 16. He then put an Ulvenwald Tracker into play. Colin laid down a Cavern of Souls on his next turn, naming Giant. He then played another Garrick Relentless and used it to kill the Ulvenwald Tracker, flipping it into Garrick the Veil Cursed. Then he played a Rampant Growth and found himself in other planes. Corey then played a Sword of War and Peace and equipped it to one of his birds. He sent his Wolf Token at the Garrick to kill it and then the birds at Colin, doing 3 to him, dropping him to 13 and gained 1 going up to 23 himself. Colin played a Green Sun Zenith for 6 on his turn and found himself a Prime Evil Titan. When the Titan came into play, he searched for an Ink Moth Nexus along with the Keswick Wolf Run. Corey then played a Hell Rider and attacked with the team, immediately dropping Colin down to 9. Colin chose to block the Hell Rider with his Titan. He then took the other 5 going down to 4 and Corey went up to 24. Colin attacked with his Titan on his turn and chose to search for 2 more Ink Moth Nexus. He pumped the Titan once with his Keswick Wolf Run for a total of 7 damage, dropping Corey down to 17. Then post combat, he used a Day of Judgment to wipe the board. Corey just played Draw Go on his next turn and then Colin animated 2 of his Nexi and attacked with them. He pumped 1 of them 4 times with his Wolf Run, doing a total of 6 poison to Corey. Corey just played another forest and passed again, and then Colin made his same attacks as before. Corey didn't have any way to stop it, so that gave Colin the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this match. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version of this gameplay and the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you liked this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.